Hey, this is Susan, and this is Van Tales Stories from the Road. But today's episode isn't about vans at all. Today, I'm going to be looking at much smaller vehicles, and I'm going to be talking to the owners on their setup and how they've made these small vehicles conducive for long-term travel and part-time living as they tour around the U.S. First up, I'm going to be talking with Lisa and Cody, and they have been traveling in their Mazda, which they bought in Hawaii, and they've gone to every state in this vehicle except Florida and Alaska. So it says two seconds three here. It's a lie. It's a, it is, is a lie. Why, how is it a lie? I don't understand. So it comes, well, we have to fold it back up and it goes into a circular kind of pattern. Kind of like that Wolf Wise solar shower, like, yes. okay. So it's, it'll be like that. Yeah. And when I take it out of the, the little bag, I can unhook a couple things and just kind of let it fly open. It's okay. It's open. So there are no poles. It's right. just all I would like say that. it is pretty easy to open. What's the hard part is getting it back in the bag. I've had the same problem with the Wolf Wise. I'm like, am I folding this right? Yeah. Because you think you're going to break it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But it's definitely an exaggeration. It's not three seconds. Mm -hmm. One person alone, maybe and you three to the, five minutes you after the, you. What do you call this? Do the guy lines? And, yeah. Okay. So, but it's nice. It gets the job done. The uh, mm -hmm. feature was the fact that we wanted something we could easily put up. Yeah. We didn't want to have to put the poles in. Yeah. And all that stuff. Like, you wanted it to go up in three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> the, it doesn't do that, but it goes up pretty well. Nice. And once you get past the first time, yeah. you figure out how to do it, it works pretty decently. The sleeping bag is a zero degree, right? Yeah. She got this without my consultation. Oh. You know, no communication factor there. Oh, it's a double person. It's a double person. Oh, okay. I did tell you. So you know what, what what you might do? Just a thought. You know how you can get single sleeping bags and then you can zip them together? Yeah. Maybe you could get a single for you. I wonder if it would zip next to this double and then you could have a double bed and you could have a single. Ooh la la. <laughs> That's possible. And you could still meet in the middle if you wanted to. Nah. <laughs> so we left on the road to actually live in the van and motels and make our way to California mm -hmm. at the beginning of May. Mm -hmm. Right. So we've been about a month now. And we were going to just take off with the tent mm -hmm. and the van without this platform. And the day we were leaving, we went to go say bye to her parents. Mm -hmm. And her pa said, well, how about I make a platform so you can store everything underneath and you can sleep on top? Yeah. And my logic was, well, if we do that, then people can see us you know in the windows of yeah, the line there that's true and just, just get some curtains get some yeah. sheets put yeah. something up so we just get some velcro we put things on oh there. yeah okay you know, so there's nothing, some velcro nothing and you just fancy pop it up. yeah we just go a couple bucks and put the sheets but you know i don't think so a lot of times people get a little too worked up about this kind of stuff and yeah. elaborate and sometimes it's the simplest solution is the one that's going to work the best Absolutely. we even have a little she bought a little pad. It's a yeah, yeah a blow up air mattress oh, yeah. for an RV or a van Absolutely. like this. Absolutely, it works. It's well, guys, simple. this is great. This is home. These two combinations have been just fine. Well, and when the weather's nice, you just want to get out of the van. And I mean, you guys, like, well, look at where we are. Like, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you camp out in the tent? when you can you know right yeah. but this is great thank you for a makeshift thing that came together like the last minute that was a super great idea from your dad <laughs> too we can uh well thank you so much for not only showing me your tents but showing me the van uh i have met so many cool people and i was just walking uh towards you guys and i was just mentioning that if you if you have an auto it can be converted there's just so many creativity if, if you can yeah. dream it you can make it happen absolutely and if you're comfortable you know how much space does one really need that's know, it to enjoy life that's it so all right well thank you i appreciate it <laughs> so yeah i've been um parked next to kate all weekend and she's got a pretty sweet setup she's in a subaru and uh yeah she said hey let's go over and take a look at my uh my setup and uh we're gonna we're gonna see what she's got going on hmm. so everybody this is kate hi yeah and kate you got a subaru right this is a subaru out back um her name is debbie De oh <laughs> debbie how did she get her name i don't know she just seemed like she a just, debbie. She just, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome yeah 
So, I don't know. It's my little adventure wagon. I've got like it's the food, like kind of foam mattress thing, and then um, got my fairy lights. Yeah, so you've got like um, a twin bed set up on the right, mm -hmm. and that looks super comfy. And it's then, pretty comfortable, yeah. Yeah, and then also the other day you were telling me about these um, these awesome um, paintings oh, that paintings. you have yeah. on on the back of the headrest. So yeah, my friend, um, her name's Laura Lee Grace, mm -hmm. and she does painting. So um, these were some of her like practice paintings for like the the skyscape. And I bought them from her because I was like, these are going to be perfect. Oh, yeah. Well, they fit perfectly. They're the perfect size. And yeah. uh, I love how you've just like uh, created a space there. That's no, awesome. That's good. Yeah. And then I've got my food situation here. Oh, nice. Um, food and like some cooking stuff. And I saw you over there yesterday. You had your um, your stove set up and everything. And, and you were making a super healthy meal. So it looks like you try to, to eat well on the road. Yeah, so that's great. I try. And then, um, yeah, if I want more. Oh, I can. Go to, yeah, this, here. this is the exciting like, thing for yeah. me, too. Uh, when you showed me this the more first time, space. I was like, what? Yeah, like this. I don't like cook with the stove on this or anything, but it's mm -hmm. good for like if I want to chop stuff. Oh, that's Just a, a great idea. Yeah. Table little workspace yeah. yeah and then um you mentioned the other day that underneath of that you actually have oh, additional yeah. food <laughs> got storage extra food stuff. Um, oh, oh yeah see. look at that this is got so if milk. you guys run into kate this is where she stashes <laughs> all the good stuff yeah and i've got this like little you come around this way well i've got my bug screens and these are my weather tech um they're like for rain Oh, so, they're little magnets. Yeah, so we've got the ceramic magnets here. And then this is for if it rains, if I want to like yeah. keep this open. And so, you know, when you get on the road, you take this off, of course. And yeah, totally. Yeah. So oh, okay. A bit. And then we've got my reflectix. I want to get some airflow. Well, that's a great Do little uh, yeah. setup. Just like a little exacto knife cut here. The thing that gets me with this type <laughs> of lifestyle is the solutions that people come up with to get yeah. around some of these problems. It's great. Yeah, and I'm not I'm not like full time. This is more just like my adventure. I mean, mobile, it's a, the but... adventure wagon, just like you said. Yeah. It's great. And this cooler is cool because you can um, plug in. Mm -hmm. Oh, to okay. like the cigarette lighter while yeah. I'm driving, and then oh, more good stuff in there. Yeah. yeah. So. And yeah, um, also, <laughs> um, the other oh, yeah. day I was setting up my awning, which we had that big gust, of course. Um, but I saw yours, and it's really stable, mm -hmm. and uh, it's such a, a nice space in here. Yeah, it's so a, I think it's called the Eureka screen tent or like bug tent or something yeah, like that. I love it. I just got it mainly for mosquitoes. Yeah. So. Because I'm, I'm like a singer-songwriter, and I wrote a song about um, like sleeping in my car. What? Recently, yeah. So I didn't know this. It's I don't know. It kind of fits with the. Uh, so the um, thing. <laughs> that's so I've been here with you all weekend, and I did not know you were a singer-songwriter. That's oh, really? awesome. Yeah. So um, is it like acoustic guitar or? It's acoustic guitar. Mm -hmm. I've got my little my little purple travel guitar. Oh and nice. I bought it. Well, guitar I bought for fifty bucks in, in Cape Town, South Africa. Oh, that's awesome. It's like four continents. Four continents with this guitar, yeah. and it's just a little guy, so it'll go anywhere. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. Nice. awesome. I okay, know. I I liked the the song. It was nice to like write a song while I was actually sleeping in the in the car. Yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. Well, cool. Thanks for sharing that yeah. with us. Yeah, cool. definitely gonna check that out. Sweet. So, where are you headed after this? More I'm, adventures? Yes, I'm heading north. I've got a week of vacation, so I'm meeting a friend at Crater Lake. Oh um, yeah, and then. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang out in Southern yeah. Oregon. Yeah, I think you're gonna love it there. There's so much to explore and the country's beautiful. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, thank you so much for showing me your yeah, setup. Totally. This is awesome. Hopefully um, our paths will cross again. Perhaps. Okay, perhaps. thank you, Kate. Yeah. Well, I wanna thank Cody and Lisa and Kate uh, for showing us their vehicles. They have some really cool solutions and great setups. And I just want to say that you don't need a fully converted van or ambulance or um, van again or what have you to get out there and travel and hit the road. And uh, some time ago, someone approached me and they said, just buy a van, 
get an air mattress, throw it in the back and hit the road. You'll begin to convert it as you go along. And in retrospect, I wish I had it done that. I could have been on the road years ago. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, you know what to do. Mash that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. It was really great having you guys uh, on for this one, and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care. See you on down the road.